Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel name learning to learn. So this is my YouTube channel as you can see and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and as well as on Unacademy. I am a verified educator on Unacademy. Right now we have a number of courses on Unacademy, especially targeting for NTA UGC net category. So if you are preparing for NTA UGC net, these are all the special classes which have started from 26th and it will go till 30 and then we'll have the schedule for the next month. So before going any further, as you all are aware that we have NDA UGC net exams uh, from the first week of October. So all the people are requested to join these classes as much as possible. And these are 100% free classes. So you can practice uh, various MCQs. So in this particular week, we are uh, trying to complete 100 MCQs of ICT, 200 MCQs of People and Environment, 120 MCQs of Audit and uh, 80 MCQs of Account uh, of Management as well. Apart from that, if you want to join an Academy Plus platform, which is a great platform for a detailed revision as well as uh, for the detailed complete course of paper one as well as paper two, any subject. Uh, so you can join an Academy Plus. These are the various prizes and there is going to be a price hike for one month and three months. For one month and three months, there is going to be a price hike. So make sure you do join an Academy Plus and you can use Aditi Live, A-D-I-T-I-L-I-V-E, Aditi Live referral code to avail 10% discount on your an Academy subscription. So make sure you join and this is the entire schedule of uh, special classes which are uh, taking place. So these are the classes which took place. From to, uh, 27 to 30, these are the classes which you can watch live free of course. You don't even have to pay any money. So make sure you join these classes and let's start with today's topic. For today's topic, uh, in the last class we have done various kinds of goals. We uh, categorize the goals into individual goals and organization goals. Uh, individual goals were further categorized into personal goals and social goals organizational goals were further categorized into official goals and actual goals moving forward now we will be doing uh, the next topic after this so this we have done in a very detailed manner you can see now this is what we are going to do today so today we'll be talking about mean and chain okay so there are three different terms here mean end and chain let's try to understand each of them in a detailed manner As you can see here, let me write this. We have ends, means, and chain. These are the three separate words which we are going to learn today. First of all, ends are those goals which I want to achieve. Ends are those goals which I want to achieve. Means are all the resources which will help me to achieve the ends. Okay. The resources can be the human resource, the finance resource, or the uh, uh, physical resources like machinery, uh, raw materials, etc. All these resources will be used so that we can achieve the goals. Now, chain is, you can say the process, the entire process or the hierarchy which is used to meet these goals. Now, if these three are synced together, if these three are ultimately used in a correct manner with each other then only we'll be able to achieve the goals so ultimately to get to the ends i need the means and i need the chain so that i can i can actually achieve these particular ends so if this is very clear in your mind let us just read it out the entire para this will help you to get more conceptual clarity on this topic so I'm starting from here. I'm just reading. I'm just reading it down. I'm just. I've explained you. I'm just reading this. Just go through this once. In every organization, the goals are structured into the hierarchy according to the preferences, and the organization fulfills these goals in accordance to the hierarchy level. 
this is the means and chain of the organization thus sorry this chain helps us to study the relationship between goals of the organization and the specific activities carried out by it to achieve these goals in this chain every goal which is termed as end requires a mean or a process by which goals or end is reached the chain shows the goals of the organization becomes the sub goals for some of the departments in the organization and at the same time the sub goals also needs the mean or decision process to achieve the sub goals also needs the mean or decision process to achieve the sub goals now so sorry okay this chain shows the logical relationship between the organization and its different sub parts the main aim of the chain is to show the org objectives of top level executives and it also shows se uh, settings at the middle level and at second level that how these processes takes place and how these goals become the means at the third or the lower level so at the end similarly goals uh which are determined at the lower level in the hierarchy becomes the means of achieving higher means so ultimately what exactly here happening is the goals which are determined at lower level in the hierarchy become means for achieving the higher means means uh, the low resources will be helpful to achieve more goals in the higher level so this was all about the three words ends means and chains so ends mean and chain so these three uh, should work together in order to achieve the organizational goal or organizational objective now in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to understand the word group dynamics and it is one of my favorite topics it's very very easy